All right, let's talk a little bit about LeBron and Joel and Beeb last night. I'm a little bit behind today, so I want to get caught up. I got y'all boys here today. They just got out the, uh, just got out the groomer, so. Um, yeah, they look good. Look at butt butt. Look at Mason. Crispy. But yeah, shout out, shout out to the James Groomer. If you're in Detroit, they on Five Mile and um, Beast Daily. Yep. Right across from the Family Dollar. So, love them. My dogs love them. I love them. But, um, but yeah, man, I was seeing that Joel and Beeb comment. He said, LeBron would have did that to me. I'd be, you know, I'd be a uh, flag at first. I, I like, yeah, that's some old ass Bron shit. But I seen it, bro. So let's talk about it. Hit the NBA talk playlist for more videos like this. And I'll be able to go live tomorrow. So we're going to go live for the first time tomorrow. Got a little surprise for you guys. So, um, but yeah, I, I thought, I'm like, that was a punk move. Joel and B went up for a dunk. Brian puts him like in this solar plex area. And he hit the ground. He stayed there, laid there. You know, you don't, you don't get no awards for that. My Drake voice trying to get a Grammy. And, um, you know, I thought it, you know, that was a good hard file, you know. That shouldn't have been no flagrant. LeBron haven't got a fragrance since what 2014 or 17, they said. That was a good foul. Y'all know I ain't gonna defend LeBron if I ain't got to. I ain't no LeBron apologist, but my thing was that was a good hard foul. Had no issue with it. You know, that wasn't no flagrant. And the NBA just they got soft. You know what I'm saying? That was a love tap. You know? And Joel and B, man, he too damn big to be that soft. To be doing all of that, man. He too big for that. Joel and B. You know, you know, I, I got what he's trying to do. LeBron do get some special calls, but over the years, that's how the NBA is. LeBron deserved, yeah, I know. LeBron deserved those special calls, man. He earned that through the years. He a phenomenal talent. Like I said, he top five, top ten all the time. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say he not. He is one of the best golf guys. You go if you're watching the, in the current future, go back. He one of the best players to ever play the game. But that that shit to be a flagrant, man. That's comical to me. That's comical. Big dog don't ride in the car too much. I gotta get a truck for him. But uh, but yeah, I mean, to me that was you know back in the day I see one fucker get bowed, DDT. Oh, it's the rock. People's elbow and stuff like of that nature, man. And that's just how they used to be back in the day. But personally, personally, man, I ain't had no issue with it. That was a good hard foul. Joel did what he had to do. Um, and I, and I, and, I, and, I, and I, I just thought that NBA players just more actors than anything now. They're actors. You know, oh, oh, oh. here come the big one, Elizabeth. Come on, man. Good foul. Good hard foul. It's a man's game. It's a man's world. There'd be nothing without Joe Lil and punk ass NBA players in today's age. They some punks today, dog. You know, imagine if Joe Lil B go to prison. <laughs> Play prison ball, man. When I was growing up, it was all about physicality and man's sport. We ain't call them punk ass fouls, and you know if you was playing twenty one, ain't no foul. We ain't call that punk ass shit, man. You know it's a sport. Now sports ain't sports no more, especially the NBA and NFL. They're taking the physicality out of it. Let's be physical again. That's what I love about sports. I love the physicality of sports. You know, even you know baseball, it didn't get physical, and that probably baseball probably you know baseball and basketball is probably first couple sports I start playing you know but people don't understand the physicality of golf I played a lot of golf over my lifetime as a kid to a teenager my heart just wasn't in it you know everybody I was going up around was playing baseball and basketball football all that but to me man let's make NBA a physical man sport let's go back to that you know I want to go back to it being physical I want it to go back to being a man sport that's what I wanted. I want you know to go back to being, but you know, probably not gonna get back to that point no more. You know, these niggas want to sue the league and cry and all that stuff. How you get stuck? But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys thought about Joel and Beeb getting the flagrant, getting LeBron getting the flagrant foul for pushing Joel and Beeb. To me, it was punk stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. To reach out if you have a business question, call, respond, share video requests. All the social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also got a Facebook group, all in subscription. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. If you want to make a donation financially, cash app, TJ Good313. That's in the description, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate, share the video, hit that subscribe button, the like down button. We go.